Hello, and thank you for watching another episode of Redbeard Shaves. Today, I'm going to be featuring Barrister and Man Near Wood. This is a new special release scent that Will put out, I think, a couple of months ago now. I picked up because it intrigued me because it's kind of a Pacific Northwest themed scent. I whipped it up today with my Opus Shaving Ebonite Handle. Look at just the colors in this Ebonite. It's so awesome. I have this loaded up with, I think it's a 26 millimeter super high density knot, badger knot from Maggards. It's one of the ones I had laying around. I popped it in this handle. I'm going to be mowing down my growth today with the Tatara Murumasa. I haven't used this for quite some time to where it's been so long I can't even remember what setting I like it on. So I'm going to start with it on setting three. Might adjust it throughout the shave. And then loaded within that I have a new Wizomet Super Iridium Blade on its first use. Go ahead and wet the head. Hope you guys are all doing well. Super stormy here in Oregon. I've had some pretty high winds, a lot of rain. You can have some trees going down because the the ground is so wet with the high winds. It's pushing over and derooting some trees. So I thought, what a better shave than to use this Barrister and Man mirror wood. The uh, scent notes within this are blackberry, vetiver, balsam, resin, and damp air. And this was definitely a scent that as soon as I popped the lid on it and took a sniff, it just instantly took me to deer hunting here in Oregon, especially an evening hunt. Like the capturing of the fragrance is definitely quintessential Pacific Northwest woods, damp air, a little bit of that blackberry note. And it just instantly took me into maybe sitting at the edge of a tree line glassing an open open area seeing if any deer pop their heads out and I always loved especially my evening hunts especially when you got into late fall and maybe had some rain showers earlier in the day because the fragrances of the forest were in full bloom and this scent definitely captures that so this is going to be a, a go-to scent in my shave den. Absolutely love it. If I walked out my back door right now, I do live out in the country, I catch some of these scents floating on the wind right now. This is in uh, Barrister and Man's new Omnibus base, which is very nice. So... I haven't picked up the Tatara for months, so I thought I would use it today, revisit it. I haven't shaved with it for some reason, I just don't gravitate towards it. So I thought I would use it today. Again, this is set on setting three. And I honestly don't remember what setting was like my ideal setting on here. It goes a one through five. So that's why I just picked it in the middle and picked three. So far, super, super nice, smooth, really comfortable shave. This Omnibus base from Barrister and Man is just phenomenal. It comes up with a super, super dense, creamy lather. Has a very good water tolerance. 
not too finicky with the water. You can add it in larger amounts and it'll accept it with very little work. Really, really easy base to work with. Has excellent slickness, both primary and residual. Post shave is very nice. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of expecting for the power to go out any time here at the house, which would maybe mess up my plans a little bit. Today's just kind of a lazy day. I'm doing some, uh, just some basic housework. I've got some jerky going in the dehydrator, which I haven't made homemade jerky in quite a few years. So really excited for that. Whole house smells wonderful right now. And then I think here in a little bit, I'm just gonna relax and do some straight razor honing. Still working on building my skills with that. And I just started playing around with finishing my edge with a uh, surgical black Arkansas stone. And a couple of test edges that I've had so far, I've been pretty impressed with. I know a lot of guys in the uh, industry all kind of go towards J-Nats. I don't have any J-Nats yet in my collection. So I just have for finishing, I have either my uh, Shapton 12K synthetic. I have a vintage La Lune. And then I just recently acquired a surgical black Arkansas. And so I've been kind of doing comparison edge finishes with those. And I'm kind of liking the Black Arkansas, to be honest. Very, very slow cutting. Takes quite a while to finish, but it doesn't bother me at all. Only thing I haven't done with this Black Arkansas is I haven't officially burnished it. And so... I might do that. Supposedly that'll kind of give it where you can get even a better finish off of that stone. Any of you straight razor guys, if you got any opinions on that, please drop it in the comments below because I'm all about learning. Wonderful, wonderful shave. So, yeah, that's kind of what I got going on, pending that the uh, power doesn't go out. The power goes out, and I'll be doing some other, other stuff to deal with that. But I've always kind of liked these big wind storms. With rain. I mean, I, I'm a native Oregonian, so rain does not bother me. And there's just something about the howling of the wind, the dampness from the rain that just, I don't know, I've always really enjoyed these kind of winter storms here in Oregon. With the exception of, they don't blow over any of my trees. And that's always a bummer. We'll see how close I get on this setting three. It feels pretty close. Um, might be using this razor a little bit more and playing with it. It has great weight, really smooth, buttery shaver. 
don't really get a lot of blade feel off of it, at least on the setting three. So I don't know the exact gaps. I didn't look those up before the shave. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is a somewhat neutral blade exposure. But very, very comfortable. What have been your guys' kind of go-to scents lately? There's been a lot of really good releases that have came out this year. Any of you who have been watching my channel for some time know that I love Fougeres. I love woody scents. Uh, I do like some cologne dupes, bright citrusy scents also, but Fougeres... And then like this mirror wood, that just kind of resinous, jammy, balsam fur resin, just right up the alley for me. Then I don't know about you guys, but you know, some scents just kind of mix with my natural pheromone scent of my body. They can actually even enhance the scent some. And I've noticed that a lot with fougeres or woody scents. Oof, nice, nice shave. I'm going to rinse off the dome here. Just a little bit. I'm going to do, actually going to go in for another little kind of cleanup today. Feel a couple of spots here that can do another going over. And I've got lather for days left, so might as well use it, right? Seems like where I was kind of left hanging a little bit on my non-dominant side. Just gonna play around instead of turning this up to four. I'm just gonna keep it on three. See if the razor's capable of doing those pickups. Good audio feedback. feeling like it picked up the rest of that little bit of stubble off pretty good. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Nothing left that I'm feeling there. lather I just smeared in the ear. Yeah, very nice. Just that little bit of pickup and buffing, but I kept it on plate three and that cleaned me up to a nice BBS. I do have the matching mirror wood splash. Add on a little bit of that. Mm. Blackberry is so underutilized, I feel like, in soaps. I personally really like the scent of blackberry, especially if paired with some woody scent or a nice robust leather accord. I think it pairs really good with that. So all you artisans out there, maybe consider some blackberry scents. I think it's a good fruity yet masculine, 
accord. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Redbeard Shaves. Hope you're all doing well, having wonderful shaves out there. Remember to do something nice for somebody. It doesn't cost anything and can make a world of difference. You all have a wonderful day. This is Redbeard signing off. Bye.